July 27th here, beautiful day in upstate New York. It's quite a nice summer so far. Not hot like it's been other places, plenty of rain. Anyhow, we've been working on this Pro MP here for quite some time. I know some people have been waiting for it, but we're finally happy with it. This is our final prototype. You can see it's not painted. So a few minor adjustments will be made on the production model, but the first one should be built and delivered end of next week if we're lucky, but definitely the week of the 11th, about 10 days from now. So I thought I'd uh, take a few minutes here and kind of show you what we got going on. So it's a Pro MP, as I said. We're going to have three models of this. This year's a base model. It's got a 25 horsepower Kawasaki engine hooked up to a 28 gallon per minute high-low pump and a 2.7 gallon per minute conveyor pump through a transfer case. Uh, instead of using a multi-stage pump we decided to go with the transfer case it's going to improve flexibility allow us to add a third pump as needed and then down the road for replacements much easier to source the individual pumps so we're doing that and uh, so that's the power source this one here is equipped with a five inch cylinder so you get about 58,000 pounds of splitting force and uh, I reckon we're at a six seven second cycle time but I don't know for sure I haven't actually timed it I'll have to time that one with the four inch cylinder, it's gonna be about uh, 20 odd tons, 37,000 pounds, 19 tons thereabouts. And the cycle time should be somewhere in the low five. So altogether a pretty fast machine uh, for the base model. Four way wedge is standard. That's right here. It is hydraulically adjustable with a rocker. You can also get with the six way for a minor upcharge. Table grade is standard, so real nice thing about this splitter, and we are moving these jacks on the final, they're going to be tucked up underneath the bit. It's really designed for making real nice firewood. You're standing right here, re-splits, no problem to reach over, get them back into the chamber, nice and safe, nice and easy. With the big table grade, you can get one split out, lay them up, flip them back over, so that's real easy. And then plenty high off the ground, capture a lot of debris dump right into our conveyor. Right here we got a 12 foot conveyor, rough top base model, $4,495.95. Goes up to about 09 feet or so. Right now we're feeding the back of the whole one ton dump truck. Uh, you know, that'll fill that pretty decent. Operator stand here, fairly similar uh, controls to our Pro HD. For those of you familiar with that, it's got some pressure gauges up here, mostly for diagnostic. Got the uh, auto cycle valve right there manual hydraulic deck lift cylinder right there and then we have our saw motor wedge lift up and down again that's eight inches of travel live deck drives this way feed trough forward and backwards the live deck will also reverse got our patented top roll clamp right there that lifts up 24 inches and then you can either pressure it down uh have about thousand pounds of downforce there we can put it in float and then just the weight which is about 300 pounds of the whole contraption keeps the log in place that's where you want to operate it most of the time and then your bar control this is where your meter the speed of your bar so our bar can move pretty fast unloaded and then you just watch your pressures when you're new or you can hear it by ear as you get better and float that bar right through to cut as fast as possible rides on a 5,000 pound axle uh, obviously we got our fenders a little wrong in the prototype, but we'll fix that for the production model. We've got a five gallon fuel tank, five gallon bar oil tank right there. Bar oil pump here so you can adjust uh, the flow. You know, in the summertime you want to choke that down. In the winter when the fluid's thick, you can open that up. Uh, as I said, this has got a five inch cylinder and uh, that sits right there. Four inch would go there as well. It's got a fully encased push tube so you never see the rod coming out. That prevents uh, damage and protects the rod from logs dropping on it. The live deck can hold about a full cord, plus or minus, probably 20% depending on the logs. You know, logs this long, I think we're pretty close to a full cord here. We'll find out. We're going to split it here in a few minutes and then stack it to get a real count. But I don't think there's anything on here with more than a 10 inch diameter. We're probably averaging 18 feet long. Uh, so that's full. You come over on this side here. We got our back roller just like we have on the Pro HD. I've run 40, 50 foot long pieces on this. I think you guys seen some of that in some videos I posted. That really helps out a lot there. 
and then two and four sixteenth inch ball there. You can tow this comfortably with a one ton truck. She's sitting between five and six thousand pounds depending on options. So nice long wheelbase tows real well. Good stability with the jacks in the corner. This here, we gotta unstow this actually. If you had bigger logs, that's your stow bar for the live deck. You wanna run some bigger logs, you can pull that. Flip this right here. Just slot it right back in there. And we got an extra hole here. Store your pin. Uh, as you can see, nice advantage of this machine. You can get it right up there into the trough, so you get anything going wrong here. Real easy access. Uh, you don't have to climb over anything, so if something gets stuck, real easy to get it moving again. There's that 25 horsepower Kawasaki, uh, pretty good motor, you know, uh, guys like Husqvarna like to use those on their big uh, lawn mowers and some others, so I think we got a good motor right there. Uh, axle's got brakes, so, you know, it is road legal. You get a VIN number, you can put a license plate on if your state wants you to. There's our transfer case, it's an A-belt in there. Uh, we've cleaned some of that up on the production model, look better, but that works real slick. Allows us to run two pumps, and then on another model, we have a third pump. Uh, saw motor there, Dan Foss saw motor into our saw box, and then sawdust chute here. Look how easy it is to adjust your chain. You can step right up in here, get in there, sharpen it, adjust your tension. Real easy access. And that's a real big part about this machine. We designed it for ease of use, safety. Uh, you know, doesn't matter how fast your cycle time is, if it takes a long time to do your repairs. It takes a long time to fix your screw-ups, your production isn't be that good. So this machine here, easy access, safety, that's what that's what we designed it for. And then you got your, your lights, again we've moved those a little bit in the production model. But uh, there she is, uh, base model like this, $39,995.95 uh, with a separate saw pump. Uh, that's going to add about $5,000 to $44. $1,995.95 and then we have a, something special coming a little later on so you're running about $50,000 but we'll wait to tell you what that is so uh, well you heard me talk enough let's see what she does
right, well, by my watch there, that was uh, started at 5 or 4.56 and it's 5.20. So that's about 24 minutes. Probably not quite a full cord on my tailgate on here, but uh, pretty damn close, two and a half face easily. So you're looking at a machine that can reliably produce that, uh, you know, cord every 30 minutes. We'll do a better test here next week when we got it all painted and we'll show you what it does. The chain on that there also has about 120 hours on it, it hasn't even been sharpened yet, so that wasn't helping us out any. But anyhow, we'll stack this up and uh, get a real measurement, but I think that's it for now, so thanks guys.